Madam Moody, um, so you are a rapporteur of this uh, report on European funds for um, gender equality. If you can explain us what do you ask the, the Euro European Commission and how the situation is nowadays. Yes, so the report looked at the European funds in a hold. So there were three areas we focused on particularly, and some of those have very clear programs that are aimed at supporting women. For example, the Daphne program, which is about tackling violence and abuse against women. Uh, and that's explicitly there as support for women. But also the report was looking at impact assessments of the funds more widely and how the, with more needs to be done to be certain that there isn't indirect discrimination, if you like, that there aren't accidental impacts that are disadvantaging women. So that was another area of the report. And then finally, it was about the global gag rule which is what we've seen from the Trump administration and that actually we could do more to make sure that we support NGOs working with women outside the European Union. Generally speaking, how these funds work? Are they direct funds? Are they um, administrated by regional um, authorities? How do they work? Okay, so the ones that are directly supporting women, that are explicitly about women, frequently are run through um, local organisations. So that maximises their impact because they're working with groups on the ground already able to deliver services directly to women. So those programmes are in place and are having positive effects for women. So those are explicitly the ones that are related to women. There are then qualifying criteria in other funds, so like the European regional funding programmes that happen. There are, within those regional funding, elements that require explicit support to women. So, for example, supporting women entrepreneurs, women being able to set up their own businesses. That's in those regional funding programmes. Or supporting childcare provision or caring provision in other ways, explicitly to help women get back into work. Final question, um, if you had to address directly the European women, how they can get informed and take advantage of these funds, what are the concrete steps they could do? Right, that will vary in each country in terms of how the funds are administered in each country within the regions in each country. They should directly go to the, the kind of regional areas to, to find out how the, the, uh, they're delivered locally, making sure that that impact is effective. <laughs>